Welcome to this episode of Bone Hunt, Discovering Dinosaurs with AI. I'm Bob Cheesebro, a solution engineer and a technical evangelist for AI supporting One API here at Intel Corporation. In this episode, we will look at the Intel Dev Cloud. The Intel Dev Cloud, in its current form, is a development sandbox to learn about coding for various accelerators. You can enroll, sign in, launch a Jupyter Notebook from your browser, and begin playing. You can get started by following the links to the Intel Dev Cloud in the description. One of the things I use this for is for teaching things like this series, but it can also be used for just developing quick prototypes to test models on Intel GPUs, Intel Xeon processors, or other available accelerators. The Dev Cloud is a simple programming development tool to begin your AI modeling and exploration. One of the cool things about it is the variety of accelerators you can access and you can request a Dev Cloud instance to target Intel GPUs, FPGA, or whatever. I focus more on just the CPUs from the Intel Xeon side and the Intel GPUs that we're bringing out. We have programmatic ways to access each of these accelerators using the Intel AI Analytics Toolkit. The Dev Cloud is a nice way to experiment with your AI algorithms using the AI Analytics Toolkit for times when you don't necessarily have an Intel GPU at home or on your server. Within just a few minutes, it gives you the ability to access these libraries and accelerators. I used it for our bone hunt to create a series of about 12 notebooks that follow the AI lifecycle all the way from data collection, data encoding, feature engineering, model creation, and optimization. With one single login, I'm able to develop code for each phase of the AI development lifecycle. One nice thing about DevCloud is that you can create custom kernels to experiment with a wider variety of software stacks. You'll have access to a wide variety of hardware, so it's just a good place to develop your code to ensure it spans across the accelerators you care about. You can do little things with it that are cool. It is based on an Anaconda hub, so you can have either a Jupyter Notebook or a Jupyter Lab interface, however you want to use it. I use Jupyter Lab as my interface so I can see the folder structure. I can also create terminal sessions right in the browser so I can customize my home folder and do git clone for my git repository. And it's a one-stop shop for experimenting. It's a really cool sandbox idea. That's an overview of how I use DevCloud. You can find links to resources, tools, downloads, and enroll to use the Intel DevCloud in the description. Remember to like and share this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel. In our next episode, we will give you all a brief overview of PyTorch and the Intel extension of PyTorch, or IPEX. Join me to continue your dinosaur bone hunting adventure. Let the adventure begin. Yep.